was through. I'm police walking behind me here. Sorry. Hi everyone, today we're travelling on LNER from here, London King's Cross to Edinburgh Waverley. And as an added bonus, I'm taking you guys along with me in first class. Now I looked at buying this ticket one week ago and I was looking at the fare through the LNER website and it was going to be £88. That was the cheapest fare available, no changes, no refunds. I looked at other uh, sites like ScotRail, GWR, always the same price. I then I decided to try something which I hadn't done before and that is to use split ticketing. Now, split ticketing is legal. Uh, it's just some, for some reason, the uh, rail companies don't like to promote this idea. But supposing instead of charging a through fare from London to Edinburgh, you're able to get a fare from, let's say, London to York, and then another fare from York to Edinburgh to complete your journey. The combined cost of two separate tickets, cheaper than the through fare. It happens a lot, especially on the long distance trains. Now, like I said, this cost £88, but through split ticketing websites, £44. Now I've always been a bit reluctant to use them in the past because in theory, if you have two separate tickets, you could end up with two separate seat numbers, which means you have to get all your luggage and move to the new seat for part two of your journey. I used a website called Rail Europe, and I'm not promoting them in any way, but I have used them in the past for European trains, and I thought I would give them a shot for a UK domestic train as well. They were able to give me a fare of 44 pounds, same conditions as before, no changes, no refunds, and they all did it on one ticket. No change of seat number, nothing. So, well done to them. Now, the split ticketing uh, websites don't do it for the love of their customers. There is a charge. Uh, Rail Europe charge £1.50. Uh, some charge something like 10% of the saving amount. But still, I'm saving £44 for exactly the same journey, and I don't have to move myself at the halfway point. Anyway, we've got a train to catch. I'll see you on board. Jeff, the train manager. Apologies, passengers just joined the service. Unfortunately, we don't have any seat reservations on board. This is due to the set being short formed. We only have a five car rather than a nine car today.
CCTV is in operation on this service for your safety and security. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to our onboard team or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. Traveling with LNER.
there, this will be our way of making sure you have all the personal belongings with you and when you get to the trading platform aid. I'd really like to apologise for the service this afternoon in regards to it being only five coaches instead of nine coaches. We've made it to Edinburgh Waverley and that was a really good trip. That Azuma train is very comfortable. It helps if you're in first class of course, but very good train trip. Uh, there was carnage at King's Cross. Apparently this morning their nine coach train was reduced to a five coach train, which meant that all the advanced seating and seating configurations were out of whack. For example, my first class coach K became a standard class coach K and that caused total confusion to everyone, but we finally settled down. What caused a few problems and a few complaints was the fact that uh, due to social distancing, we have to spread out a bit and there just wasn't enough seats for everybody. But things were okay in first class. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. See you then.